Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to some Art Crystal Isles. On the Ravager today, just heading up top to the birds. Gonna be hopping on the, the Quetzal today. We're gonna attempt, I do say attempt, <laughs> to tame one of those new flyers, the trope, trope of ga the, the new flyer, man, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Don't know how you pronounce it. Weird little thing, though. So, they're both the same color now. So I was out riding this one around, or this one around. Yeah, this one around to uh, start leveling it up, came back, and this is the one that was white, that had like the white wings. And they're both the same now. I don't know, man. Some weird stuff going on with these crystal wyverns. I mean, it looks fine. I just have twins now. Let's go ahead and see. Yeah, so what we got made up here is uh, I got a bunch of pillars. We got the chain bolas, which you need because this is a passive tame. Uh, you have to use chain bolas, and that's whenever you feed it. It's whenever it's on the... Um, on the ground bolid. So it's kind of a weird tame. I've, I've checked out a couple videos about how to do it and we'll see how well that works out. So the next thing, the location of it. Uh, all the way to the far left at around 80-20 is where I found one flying. So we're gonna go for that one, uh, set up the trap near it. We're gonna find it first and set up the trap near it. Oh, you know what? I need a pterodon. The key part in this is a pterodon to get some aggro. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab a pterodon, crowd pot them, and we'll come back whenever I'm over there and located the uh, the tropes so we can start setting up a trap. Alright, so I located one. Let's see what level he is. Oh, nice. 145. That will definitely do. Not too crazy about the colors on it, but uh, we're not worried about colors right now. We're, we really just want to get one team. Because we're going to need to do two. Of course, only one today. So let's see about, maybe right over here on the beach, we'll go ahead and set up our, our little trap. It's not going to be too much to it, but we do need a, a somewhat flat area without trees. And hopefully, yeah, I don't know, they got a weird uh, aggression too for attacking and stuff. Alright, so he landed, let's go ahead and start with some pillars. So we're going to be taming him with prime meat, because I still have not set up uh, kibble yet. Dude, what is that? Is that all crystals out there? Huh. Found the dolphins. Haven't seen any water creatures, man. Alright, so we're going to be doing just a regular trap, kind of like how we had with the griffin. Let's see, he was over that way. So we're going to want to face it like this. I think we're going to go three high. And it doesn't need to be too massive. Because we do want to keep them in a small area. But that's why we brought the Pterodon. Because Pterodon can fit through there. And I don't think that he can. If he does, uh, we have a problem. <laughs> uh, man, I tell you what. Sometimes it just doesn't work out right. And then, let's see. I have a door on you. Yes, I do. Because we definitely do want him to stay trapped in there. Nah, that opens the wrong way. Wait, sometimes, I don't know. It's weird. Maybe it'll open the correct direction. Nope. Going to pick it up, put it back down. Ah, it has to do with the door frame. All right, I'm not worried about that. We're not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with that here for five hours. Like it usually takes me to get stuff done. Let's go ahead. We're gonna need some ceilings now, and then our trap is almost complete. Very, very simple trap. And there we go. Go ahead and get these out of the way. Definitely want to be able to see him. Alright, so the pterodon will fly through here, and we're going to set up 
maybe right here. We'll do our chain bola kind of at an angle so we can shoot all the way through them. So we'll just need one foundation. And then we'll need that. Man, you know what? I did not check to see if there's any spinos around. I know there's some over that way. <laughs> That'd be bad, man. Have a spino right around here. I don't know if I should do it straight. It's kind of thing at the angle. That way I can hit him no matter where he is, you know? I think it'll be fine. We'll just do it right there. Oh man, that thing's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. We'll go grab another foundation. We'll, we'll make sure that there's four down. And then we got. I could could move him closer because we will be setting up a storage, and I will end up cryopotting the Quetzal. Nice, nice, very nice. I like it, I like it. I think this will go any direction, right? They move around, I never really mess with them. There we go. Yeah, so, ooh, that doesn't give us too much area, does it? You know what? I think we're going to have to move it over. Wait, we're not going to demolish it. We have extras. Alright, let's check that out. Dude, let me up. There we go. Yeah, that should be good. Awesome. Grab our storage, empty out the Quetzal, and then go try to get us that, that bird, man. Alright, now that everything is done, let's throw out our Pterodon. Pick up our Quetzal. Dude, I'm excited, man. I really hope this thing works out. So the thing we gotta watch out for, man, is those things will knock you off your bird, I read. Is that still him? Should be. Dude, your head is always in the way. Yeah, it's him, though. All right, so we're going to nip him a little bit. And then get out of the way, because I do not want to get knocked off. There we go. Okay, I was, I was worried if we were going to be faster than him or not. Also kind of worried because this is one of my new teams and I haven't really put anything points wise and like health. All right, let's get the door closed. Dude, and that is it, man. Ah. Nice and smooth. All right. Really? Did you not wait like five minutes, man? <laughs> I tell you what, man. He's always like, as soon as I start doing something, he's like, dude, I'm thirsty. All right, so there's a trick I read. While he's bowling, his food will go down. Yeah, see, see how the food's dropping? It's really hard to see. So we'll go ahead and let that happen. And we'll let him break free. And then we'll bowl him a second time. And then we'll feed him. Because otherwise, I think it's like a, a 30 or 45 minute wait in between uh, time that you can bowl him. So if we wait for his food to drop, bowl him a second time, then we can, we can get a, a couple feedings in at once. Just saves on the time a lot, you know? Alright, cool. We'll let him go. He's got a diagro. And then we'll bowl him a second time. Okay, there he goes. Oh, 
Ah, oh, nice. Okay. So that's 18%. So that's... Should be able to get... Two or three feedings in. Before he... He breaks free. Dude, come on. Let me get one more. Looks like we'll probably have to do this three times. That's not, not too bad. Especially not using kibble. Just using regular meat. One more. Okay, yeah. So we'll be able to do it twice. Dude, that's even better. Sneak one more in if I can. Oh, no. Oh, dude. Oh, watch out. <laughs> oh, man. Dude. All right, I'm going to sit here and wait up. Uh, wait for him to be ready and uh, get the next uh, next feeding done, man. And we'll, we'll have us a new flyer, man. We just got to find another one now. <laughs> Hopefully in the same area. I think we need a male, right? Isn't this a female? Yeah, it's a female. All right, let's see if we can get this second feeding done. Oh, so you don't have to wait in between. I thought you had to wait like a long time limit. Interesting. So you don't. Doesn't look like his food's going down, though. Hmm. We'll wait and see. We'll bowl him again a second time and see if we can't get... Get the next uh, next little bit done. All right, so we need two more pieces of meat. Dude, I think I might have overmade the bolas. Awesome, one more. That's a weird color pattern. So uh, you can ride these, I think, without a saddle or with a saddle. Dude, we got it. Nice. So no, you do need a saddle. Huh, I thought it was a with or without. But it isn't. Okay, well, let's take a look at the stats. So 217 it tamed out to be. 2880 on the health. Uh, stamina is at 687. Weight is at 700. Very nice, very nice. Uh, damage is at 384 and movement speed 136.5. Nice, man. Let's go ahead and cryopod it. Get everything set up and we're going to head back to the uh, to the base and I'm going to get one of those saddles made for it. Oh, wait, you can ride it. What? Okay, okay. Awesome, awesome. Let's go ahead and get the door open. Take it for a quick spin. So, I keep reading that it rides like a tapiera. So you got the side-to-side -side movements, and then the front and back. Yeah, okay, it is, it is. Man, this thing is slow! So that saddle has a grenade launcher, and then it has a rocket on the back. Let's pick our pterodon up. Head back to base, uh, get a saddle made, and check it out. Dude. Get in the crowd pod, man. All right, we'll see you back in a few. Well, we made it back to base. All in one piece, somewhat. Uh, a little bit of damage. Uh, he only does about 71 or 72 damage per hit, so we definitely need the, the cannon on him. What the? Dude, what was that from? Holy crap, there's like just trees falling and stuff. <laughs> I tell you what, man. Sometimes. All right, let's go ahead and throw this prime meat back in the fridge. We don't have too much of it. Uh, what do we need? I think it's made in the fabricator. So all we need is some metal, which I have, and crystal. Not a problem on either one of those. Uh, all right, yeah, pick it up. You just land, buddy. Oh, I'll tell you what. Just don't listen, do you? Take a seat, man. It'll be all right. Relax, relax. Enjoy the nice breeze from the beach. Yeah, we got plenty of metal. Man, that stuff's smelling up good. I need to put some more wood in there.
So let's look at grenades. So we just, uh, so it's at a smithy. I think we have everything there. No, we don't. We just need some oil, which I think I have some. Dude, I've been doing so many runs up on the Elder Gile. How many can we make? Four? That's it? What am I missing? Probably gunpowder, which I still haven't made any more of. Awesome. Uh, gonna need some gas. I think I have the most in here, right? Yes. Oh, I got some gunpowder already made. That's right, I was making some. Oh, we need fiber. Thank goodness we got a bunch of that, too. 15. That should be enough. Let's get the saddle on him. And then, I guess the gas goes in his inventory? Uh, we're gonna put that into some health. Our ammo should be ready, which it is. Awesome, we got seven. Oh, it's still making. So we're gonna have 19 to play with. And I think they need to be in his inventory as well. Alright, so let's see how this thing works. Well, that's weird, you got your own hotbar. I'm not sure how to activate anything. Okay. So it's kind of like the tech stuff. You gotta hit whatever special key you have. So it goes a good bit, a little bit faster. Dude's like a little jet, jet engine, man. I like how his wings stay out, too. So let's try to find something to hit. I think there was a... <laughs> his little wings speed up to catch up. So you gotta have, you gotta be in that mode to, to use the grenade launcher as well. I think there was a turtle over here. Okay, so you got like a regular engine, and then you can uh, you can speed it up too. That's cool. Whoa, dude! It doesn't do much damage, doesn't look like. Yeah, thirty-four per hit. I wonder if that scales with that scales with your uh, your damage. Probably not. Oh, that's cool though. Dive bomb! <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be a lot of fun playing with this thing. It's gonna be an expensive toy, I can tell you that. Well, it's a lot easier team than I thought. We will be using this in the first Wyvern fight, I believe. Uh, for the Alpha, or for the, uh, the Gamma boss. But, anyways. Gonna go ahead and leave this one here. I'm gonna play with this for a bit and use up all my resources making gas and grenades. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.